Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hope you had a productive week and that you're looking forward to get your weekend started. But first, as always, a brand new challenge is upon us. And after a few tricky ones, we do have an easy one. So CG throwing us a bone today. And boy, we need it because, you know, we got Conquest starting on Monday. So we will have our hands full with that one. But anyways, as always, I'll cover the modifiers and defeats first. And then show you the battles. So the battles I will show you will be on autoplay. Uh, so hopefully you can get easy max rewards with one of those teams that I will show you. Uh, YouTube chapters below, as always, uh, if you want to skip through otherwise uh, let's go uh, have a look at the modifier basic training so that's the modifier for Camino I need a little bit of reminder of this one because uh, we used to have a different Camino modifier so this is the newer one basically we are gaining a stack of morale and then so it's not really all that great to be honest uh, and then whenever we start with 10 stacks of morale we gain advantage whenever we get 15 then we get protection up but to be honest it didn't really make a whole lot of difference in this challenge because enemy hardly gets a turn so you just kind of steamroll them but if you're wondering what morale does for each stack of morale we gain extra damage defense health potency and tenacity uh, so nice boost there to all the stats uh, then we uh, need to look at the rebel modifier the weaker rebel modifier not the powerful one um, but luckily like these both of these modifiers are not that great uh, so we can you know actually get damage over time feats as well done with the rebels and attacks out of turn if we would have two powerful modifiers we might just burn through these guys too fast i don't know and then the bounty hunter modifier thrill of the hunt it's a pretty good one they start with nine stacks of true defense which again we need them to be tanky uh, so we can obviously stall the battle long enough to get all the feats done and then whenever they gain a payout they get frenzy and things like that but they're hardly getting any turns so you don't need to worry about them actually uh, getting their um, you know contract going and things like that now in terms of the feats uh, we have to win with a full team of rebel units plenty of ways to do this rebels faction has really grown over time we have plenty of good rebel squads attempt to flick damage over time 30 times uh, now if you want to do all the feats in one battle uh, you can do uh, what i'll do in the first battle mon mothma with bistan because he can apply damage over time as his basic if not you know we'll just do standard pulp vader thing as we normally do and attacking out of turn for rebels <laughs> shouldn't be a problem as well they like to attack out of turn a lot uh, now, just uh, as mentioned before, Bistan here is the key if you want to get all the feats in a single battle on autoplay. Um, he's a, uh, he, on his basic, he's got 70% chance to inflict damage over time. Uh, so again, a bit of an RNG there, element 70% chance, does he land, does he not land? Um, and obviously it will also depend uh, on how highly geared your guys are like mine are all relic uh, so if i when i try to just hit autoplay i was just defeating these guys too quickly especially kalakantaran with his big head so i opted for auto basic and that did the job if you got a bit lower gear mon mothma squad then maybe you will need to auto play so you don't get overwhelmed uh, by the bounty hunters so it really depends but whether low gear high gear i think these guys can get the job done uh gonna target bosk first and i'm just gonna hit auto basic and that's basically it again because when i did full auto play especially kyle right he was doing his big hits on his special ability and because we uh, especially if you do use full auto you're getting a lot more turns because of power and things like that and then um, you build up your stacks of morale very high and remember for each stack of morale are we getting like three percent critical damage or something uh, so eventually you know you um, quickly stack up damage kalkantaran doing some big hits as you can see at this point we got quite a lot of stacks of morale on our guys uh we go but auto basic if you do have relic up guys at least for me did the job again bit of rng element there uh you know because uh, beast has got 70 percent chance uh on his basic to land damage over times and luckily they're obviously boba he's got bounty hunters is off so we have to defeat him twice which gives us a little bit more time to keep applying those damage over times now even if they resist damage over times obviously will still count uh, so you don't have to worry about that just hit autoplay and hopefully this will work for you 
Uh, if on, on just on auto basic, your guys get overrun and steamrolled because they are maybe too low gear to take a few hits, then you can try full auto as well because uh, then you know you can keep your turn meter train chugging along much better than with just auto basic on these guys. And you don't really need that very highly gear. I think I've seen somebody on Discord posting like they had gear 12, uh, Mon Moth Mine, all the other guys were like gear 8, gear 9, gear 10. So you don't really have to have highly geared Mon Mothma uh, in order to this to work. Uh, and also not that crazy speed because Kal Katarn, right, he gains 10% um, uh, bonus turn meter at the start of the battle for each rebel fighter ally. So he gets a nice 30% turn meter boost to begin with. And this is it guys, auto basic. And I completed all the feats in a single battle here, attacking out of turn rebels as well as damage over times. Easy max crate on autoplay. Obviously, if you don't have one Mothma, uh, another way to get it done is CLS. Same thing, we'll just do autoplay again, target Bosk, hit autoplay, and let these guys wreck the bounty hunters. Plenty of attacks out of turn, as you can see. So, this will complete rebel feat as well as attacks out of turn. So, then you will have to do something else for damage over times, which you know. The obvious choice here is a Palpatine uh, Vader lineup, so that's what we'll do next again on full auto play. Come on, guys, let's wrap this up so we can finish this video quickly. Come on, guys, you've got this. Boom. Ugh. Come on. <sighs> All right, fine. Come on, there we go. More attacks out of turn for us here. Just uh, gunning down IG, and these rebels should be out of here. Uh, getting the rebel feed done and attacks out of turn and finally damage over times uh, the reason why i did not include mara i'm just worried that if i do include mara then palpatine will be getting too many turns and we will kill off these guys too quickly uh i even seen somebody saying in discord that they just did just with palpatine and darth vader <laughs> they didn't need anything else to uh, get these uh, guys down i'm bringing their Sidious actually he's here he applies damage over times as well Probably don't need it, but just to be on the safe side, I decided to chuck him in for some extra damage over times. And I'll see there, front for the fracture. We got Royal Guard there for a bit of a safety net, I guess, in case things do go wrong. Uh, but Palps, as you can see, he's uh, landing those stuns pretty reliably. Another Force Crush, another Merciless. And, you know, this should be the end of Bounty Hunters. There we go, another Force Crush. Culling Blade to the face to IG. Boba stunned. Come on, get him down, there we go. Another AoE there coming in with Sidious, again, helping out for the damage over times. Probably didn't need it, but hey, you know, we can take a five-man squad in there, so might as well get him in. Culling Blade to the face, and that as well completed now uh, damage over time fit. So there you go, guys. That's all for today's video. Hopefully it was useful and helpful, just showing you two different ways uh, you can get on autoplay. Uh, max rewards again, Mon Mothma. Uh, you can get uh, all the feats done in a single battle on auto play, either basic or full auto, depending on the gear levels of your Mon Mothma squad. If you don't have Mon Mothma build up, uh, you can then just simply uh, use CLS uh, for Rebel attacks out of turn on, on full auto, and same thing there for the Vader Pulp combo there, full auto play, very quick, very easy max crate today. Hopefully, whoever was in charge uh, of today's challenge, they get to be in charge a few more times so that, you know, we don't get so many tedious ones as we were getting uh, uh, lately. So hopefully in the future has a little bit more easier ones like this uh, for us waiting ahead. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in Monday's challenge video. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you, my friends.